Five ultimate food theme parks that you should visit. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. Today's video covers a variety of food theme parks that we have in Japan. From standard to brand new, we picked five spots based on careful thought. There will be countless mouth watering Japanese food, so keep watching to find out more. Now, let's get started. The first to be announced is Takoyaki Theme Park at Tokyo, Odaiba. And now, we have arrived to the very place. Odaiba is one of the popular tourist spots with its location facing towards ocean. To arrive by train, the closest station will be Daiba Station. Five minute walk and you reach the target place. Our first theme park is located in Dex Tokyo B. The mall attracts many people and has countless stores. The place even has indoor amusement park. Our target destination is placed on fourth floor. The whole floor has very retro atmosphere and you really feel the nostalgic vibe back in the day in Japan. Just looking around is pure entertainment. This is our first spa that we want to introduce, Takoyaki Museum. There are five takoyaki stores from the very founder of takoyaki to a store that forms endless queue. Weekends are busy with people, so coming on weekday is wiser. You can also get English pamphlets too, so you can carefully pick your favorite. Now we are here, let's go and get takoyaki. The first store we want to draw your attention to is Aizuya. This store is very founder of takoyaki, which began their business back in 1933. You can get a combo of three different flavored takoyaki here. The combo also comes with a drink. The actual takoyaki is in small bite sides, which you can easily throw in your mouth. The batter of takoyaki is flavored with bonito flakes and soy sauce, so don't need additional sauce. It's sweet and almost has like a snack feel to it. This takoyaki is called Rajoyaki. It comes with sweet stewed beef tendons and konyaku. I'm loving the change in texture from konyaku. This takoyaki has tartar sauce and green onion on top. Texture and slight spiciness from the green onion are nice touch. Let's try the second store, Dotonbori Kukuru. The store has over 30 years history of maintaining its business and popularity in takoyaki's home of Osaka. We'll be trying authentic takoyaki from this store. The takoyaki here is finished with white wine for its fruitiness. Spicy sweet sauce and mayonnaise are in hands and hands. They are green onion pickled red ginger and crunchy tempura bits in the filling. The size is quite big and has great texture. We want to pick up Yamachan as our third choice. Let's try Akashiyaki from this store, which is a family of takoyaki made from similar ingredients but with more egg. You can try freshly prepared Akashiyaki, which are made after it's been ordered. And here it is. This is Akashiyaki. As previously mentioned, Akashiyaki uses more eggs for ingredients so the batter is softer. You eat it by dipping into broth soup from Bonito Flakes. The soup has been absorbed to the very inner core of the ball and it's so juicy. Octopus is the only filling and it's very simple. This is a go-to menu for those who fancy clean flavor. Let's now touch on Juhachiban. 
takoyaki from this store has tempura bit and shrimp powder inside its batter. We picked up a box with two different flavored takoyaki with green onion on top. We'll enjoy this with ponzu sauce. The combination of refreshing sitless flavor from ponzu and mayonnaise is bold. Green onion adds a nice touch. The other one had salt-based dressing on top of green onion. The dressing has hint of garlic, so it smells very fragrant. The crispy texture from the tempura bit are addictive. Now, moving on to Imotako. This store is yet another popular store coming from the home of takoyaki, Osaka, in 2012. From this store, we picked up the combination of takoyaki with cheese and medium boiled egg. Don't you just love it when you can enjoy two different flavors in one go? This takoyaki has cheddar cheese and mayonnaise on top. The cheese has melted and it's so creamy. Loving how it complements with the flavor of mayonnaise. As for the other takoyaki, we'll break the medium boiled egg in half and enjoy by coating the ball with egg yolk. The egg is so creamy and definitely a chef's kiss. The yolk makes the flavor of takoyaki more milder. Now we have talked enough of takoyaki, let's move on to the next theme park. The second park that we are about to cover is Dumpling Theme Park in Tokyo Ikebukuro Station. The place of interest is located within the building of Sunshine City. Sunshine City is a mall with 60 floors above ground. We'll head to the second floor of the building. This is Nanja Town where the Dumpling Theme Park is placed. It's an indoor theme park crowded with people from all age groups. And here is Nanja Gyoza Stadium, the very spot we wanted to propose. In the park, you can eat dumplings from all around Japan. There are eight dumpling specialized stalls all together. It's very busy and has festive atmosphere. Now to introducing stalls. And the first one to pick up is Ochi. You can get award-winning dumplings from here. The filling consists of pork, cabbage, chive, garlic, and ginger. It's so juicy since it has back fat kneaded together. It's better when you have it with yuzu and chili pepper paste. Now taste more refreshing by having that citrusy scent added. Moving next to talk about Gyoza Damashi. Here you can eat dumpling that is so much like takoyaki. The dumpling has been fried, so the outside is very crispy. It comes with octopus inside. You can enjoy dumpling and takoyaki at the same time. Next, Gyoza no Ante. This is a people gathering place that had three stores in Tokyo region. Here you can eat dumpling with plenty of cheese on top. The aroma of cheese is amazing. Loving that crispy mouthfeel. I'm dreading to drink since this would match perfectly with alcohol. Now moving to cover Gyoza no Miya Denden. The dumpling from here is round shaped like soup dumpling. The skin is thick and has chewy feel. Inside is packed with soup which is miso flavored. The soup tastes rich from chicken bone too. Pao is the following spot to draw your attention to. You can get dumplings made from worldly famous omi beef. The size of one dumpling is big and quite filling. The skin is thick with chewy touch. The filling made with omi beef is so juicy and it's overflowing. Flavor from the meat is literally a bombshell. On to the next theme park. 
The third theme park is Asakusa Yokocho. Placed in 10 minutes walking distance from the Asakusa station. And here we are. The park is within this building and placed on fourth floor. Asakusa Yokocho is what this place is called and the place just opened this July. Neon lights are setting up awesome vibes. It's festive and getting me excited. One section is decorated with countless wind bells and it looks chic. This Asakusa Yokocho sums up eight stores in one floor. You can enjoy a variety of food and Japanese cuisine, so this place is literally a dream place to be if you're a drinker. There's a place that allows you to rent kimono too. Dressing up in kimono will sure to maximize Japan feels. Let's get down to checking out Yura Yura, specializing in yakitori. Here you can enjoy skewered chicken being prepared in front of your eyes at a stylish counter table. There's a set that allows you to enjoy and compare combinations of different parts of chicken. Cured chicken in sweet sauce is obviously a perfect match to alcohol. You also get a view of Tokyo Sky Tree from the window too. Next up is Rocky Kanai. This is an izakaya where you get to cook your own rolled egg. You pour in egg batter with broth inside a flying pan with heated oil. Once the surface is dried, you want to start rolling the batter. You repeat several times to make yourself a broth rolled egg. The broth is smelling fantastic. The egg is very fluffy and soft. I'm loving that natural sweetness coming from the broth. Let's now dine at Izumo hosting eel menus. We'll be trying two different menus here. The first one being grilled eel. Having to cut the fish in round slices would help to maintain its fat and juiciness when grilled. Outside skin is very crispy. The fluffy meat is very fatty. Next, we are trying unasando which has eel sandwiched with rice. The rice had sweet sauce flavor and this rice matches so well with eel. Having that aroma with seaweed, it's almost like sushi. Let's now check out Asakusa Sushi. You get to enjoy some unique sushi menus that you can't find in other stores. This sushi has tuna, Japanese yam, salmon and flying fish rolls on top. You'd want to take this plastic cover before you taste a bite. It comes with plenty of salmon rolls. The tuna and salmon roll are already flavored with soy sauce, so you can enjoy it without any additional dipping of sauces. The yam is very creamy too, loving the popping texture of the flying fish rolls. Now, on to heading the next theme park. The fourth theme park is Tokyo Ramen Street, located on the first basement floor of Tokyo Station. It was first set up in 2009 and currently had seven ramen stands. All the stores are always attracting people and lunchtime is definitely forming lines. My personal favorite is Rokurinsha. This is the ramen stand which Tsukemen, the noodle set with a separate dipping soup bowl, was made famous for. We've posted the video before which describes the place in depth, so make sure to check the video too. And to the last spot. The final spot is Shin Yokohama Ramen Museum in Kanagawa Prefecture, Shin Yokohama. The place first opened business in 1994 and still a busy spa which forms lines of people to get in. Entrance fee is required to check around. The building had three floors and the ground floor describes the history of ramen in Japan. 
you get to see the nostalgic ramen stalls on display, which were everywhere back in the days. There are numerous souvenirs you can get too. The old city landscape is reflected on the basement floor, and you really feel that good and old Japan vibe. There are also seven ramen stores within this museum. You get to try ramen from around Japan. The stores are temporary and switched occasionally. The museum provides English pamphlets, so you can pick your favorite by checking out what kind of ramen they offer. Please note that you must order one ramen per person. The URL for detailed video of the museum is written in the description box. If you are the person who'd love to find more about the place, check the video for more. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.